Gantt charts with dependencies show the relationship between tasks in your project sheet and help you track and manage work. They can also show the critical path of your project so you can quickly highlight the tasks that'll make or break your finish date. Let's look at how you can create a Gantt chart with dependencies in Smartsheet. Let's add dependencies to a simple Gantt timeline for an upcoming product launch. Click on the gear icon in the top right corner of your Gantt chart to edit the project settings and check the box to enable dependencies. Smartsheet will then create duration and predecessor columns for you. To link tasks and create predecessors, simply drag and drop the tasks in the order you'd like them completed. You can also link tasks by entering the row number of the preceding task in the predecessor column. The dependent task's start date is set to begin one workday after the predecessor's finish date. This is a finish to start dependency. To edit predecessors, click on the small pencil icon. Here, you can change the amount of lag time between tasks and can also change dependency types. For example, you can create a start-to-start -start dependency by modifying a dependent task to start at the same time as its predecessor. You can change task durations by dragging the Gantt bar or by changing the value in the duration column. To set a milestone, make task duration zero. Subtasks help you structure projects and summarize progress. To create a subtask, click on the indent button on the toolbar. Smartsheet automatically uses the start date and end dates of your subtasks to calculate the start and end date of your parent row. To see how your project is progressing, add a percent complete column to your project sheet and choose to display this information in your timeline display using the project settings. Then the completion percentage of each task will visually display on your Gantt chart. Smartsheet automatically calculates percent complete of the parent task. To see the critical path of your project, or the tasks that are essential to completing the project on time, click the Critical Path button next to the Zoom buttons on the toolbar. You can also see the allocation of your team members by clicking the Resource Management button. If you don't see the button, check your project settings to make sure resource management is enabled. As you add dependencies and highlight the critical path, relationships between tasks will become easier to see and your project will become easier to manage. And that's how to set up a Gantt chart with dependencies in Smartsheet.